All right, welcome back to the Allegro Music Webcast. It looks like we're getting ready to uh, get this show started. Yes, we are. And where are we? Good today? evening, everybody. Thank you for coming out to the Performance Loft tonight. Uh, my name is Sean Longstreet. I'm the program coordinator for the jazz at the Performance Loft. And please join me in uh, welcoming Bill Watrous. One of the nation's best, best trombone. Thank you very much, and thanks for having me here in this lovely place. This is quite a building. Uh, we do need to knock off what is back on here again. It's a... Uh, hear it doing that? Hmm? Just a little bit. You guys, it's so great for you to come in here. And uh, we're going to play a whole bunch of tunes that even we don't know. <laughs> okay? So, uh, uh, there's one we're going to do right now. Basically, what, I'm gonna, what I do usually is go through my list of, uh, of material that I have been collecting for about 100 years. And on June 8th, I come up on my 72nd birthday, so I've had a lot of time to put, <laughs> to put this stuff together. Thank you. Thanks. Now, every day I get up and I go out and I get the paper, and I read the obituary column. If I don't see my name on it, I go on with the day, you know. We're going to do a tune that absolutely nobody knows but us. Oh, I'm sure you do. Called uh, "Yours Is My Heart Alone." Thank you. 
Good evening. Ah, that works. I had some uh, rather interesting experiences when I was in New York City that uh, I've been thinking about, about lately. You know, remember Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet? Well, something that I had heard happen. We had it was a good old friend of mine in New York named Boris Molina, and he played the trombone. And he was a, like an old time, just an old time guy, did club dates, you know, little casual uh, jobs from here to there. And he used to work in places like the Concord, which is upstate, you know. And those guys used to have to get up early in the morning and drive all the way up there and do these. Well, anyway, Boris was doing this job with Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet. And it was a tune they had to play that. Uh, Steve said, oh, Boris, that eight-bar solo's there, back there. Would you play that up an octave? And Boris went and played it right where it was, you know, again. Steve says, Boris, 8 VA on, on that solo. Boris played it right down where it was. Now Steve goes back, puts his hand on his shoulder and says, hey, Boris, uh, we recorded this last week, and Irby Green played that solo up an octave. <laughs> he looks at him and says, Schmuck, if I could play like I B. Green, would I here be here at the Concord at nine o'clock in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> I got him. <laughs>